Hi, so on my previous video I forgot to show you that I have a, a 240 volt uh, device that I can test out. Um, so it's a my clothes dryer which runs at 240 volt. We'll go ahead and give that a, um, a try, see if it starts up. And then I'll show you how also how the, um, the L1 and L2 plug works. Pretty much um, I'm going to use that plug connection instead of the outlet and we'll test that out. Here's how I uh, have it hooked up. So instead of using the outlet, I'll go ahead and use the plug. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in my previous video, but the plug is a, is a 14 um, gauge wire and these are 12 gauge wire. So this will probably hold a little bit more amp. Um, so pretty much you got uh, one hot here, the neutral, the second hot and the ground. And then I have a wire um, into a receptacle, a uh, uh, 30 amp, 240 volt plug and pretty much uh, this is here's hot hot ground and neutral and we go ahead and plug into my cable like we did in the previous video okay here I have it plugged in right here so you go from here to my adapter and I have a voltmeter plug into the um, the the end of the plug here and you see it's reading 240 volt so now we're going to go ahead and plug in my generator cable into that and it plugs into my house. I took my uh, circuit breaker panel off to see how to show you guys this, how it's plugged in. So it goes through this black and white cable here. Then it goes to my breaker generator. Let's go ahead and see if we get the 240 voltage. And there we are. We get 240 voltage on that on that breaker but the breaker is not turned on right now so you can't um, flip it on yet so let's go ahead and flip off my main breaker this is my main breaker okay so that's off so I'm gonna wait a little bit and then I'll turn on the generator so we, this is where the inverter is plugged into like I just show you and then we'll go ahead and test my dryer see if it runs on that 240 volt so let's go ahead and flip it on there we go so it's on you can see the lights on there is on too. So now my house should be on the running off that inverter. Let's go check out my dryer. Before we check my dryer, let's look at the load right now. So it's about three amp per leg, three amp on top, and about 3.8 amp on the bottom, on the second leg. Here's my dryer. Let's see if it will turn on. And let's go ahead and see if we can start it up. So this is 240 volt right here. So it does start it and it's running. And my power is still on. So it did kind of struggle a little bit when it started up. Let's go ahead and see how many amp is pulling. Okay, so now it's pulling about 3 amp on top and 5.8 amp at the bottom so it's about 700 watt on the bottom leg and the top leg is probably about 400 watt so somewhere around a thousand thousand watt at least so that's with the dryer looks like it's running with the dryer okay so that pretty much um, ends my test I just wanted to show a quick uh testing on the uh, 240 volt and show you guys how it's plugged in but looks like it's working just fine it did struggle a little bit um just to start the uh dryer but once it start it looks like it settled down so that tells you it's plugged in directly into the panel correctly with the uh, 240 volt on both pretty much 120 on each leg of 240 volt so and it's powering up. It only struggles a little bit when it starts up, but once it's running, the power uh, settles down. So it's running 240 volt just fine. All right, thank you.